When I say Amanda, you say Awetu. That you will know. Amanda! Awetu! I'm going to call another powerful person, Kumbul, Lucky Kumbula, to come forward and say a few words. Uh, good evening, everybody. Hey. Let's move a little bit now. <laughs> One race. One you say human race. One race. Human race. One race. Human race. One race. Human race. One race. Human race. What we want? Justice. What do we want? Justice. What do we want? Justice. Black lives matter. Black lives matter. What do we want? Justice. Who built America? Black men. Black men. Who built America? Black men. The Irish. The Irish. Black men and the Irish. They went to our countries and took us as slaves and stole our gold, and diamonds. gold diamonds, yeah. land, and minerals, and all minerals, and come back to sell it to us. They take our forefathers to go and build the countries. When they feel it's enough for them, they decide to kill us. Enough is enough. We cannot tolerate that anymore. Yeah. No more. No more. No more. No more killing. No more. No more. We 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 answer a lot of questions as to why black ma uh, lives matter. Because they matter. They are the, the black lives never mattered before during the times of slavery. Blacks didn't matter. We were sold for nothing. The bosses would exchange for nothing. And we were supposed to keep quiet. In 1963, about 54 years ago, I will, if you, if you just bear with me, because this, this message to me is, is so relevant today just as it has for the past 50 or so years. It was an address in the U UN, <coughs> UN Assembly in October of 1953. You'll remember this as I go through. And I'll tell you who gave us these words. That until the philosophy which holds one race superior yeah. And another, another inferior is finally and permanently discredited yeah. and abandoned until there is no longer first class and second class citizens yes. of any nation. Yeah. 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 That until the color of a man's skin is of no more significance than the color of his eyes yeah. that until the basic human rights are equally guaranteed to all without regard to race that until the day the dream of lasting peace and world citizen and the rule of international morality will remain and but a fleeting illusion to be pursued but never attained and until the, in, the in global unhappy regime that holds our brothers all over the world, Angola, Mozambique, Zimbabwe, South Africa, in all human bondage have been toppled and totally destroyed. Until bigotry and prejudice and malicious and inhuman self-interest have been replaced by an understanding and tolerance of goodwill until all nations stand and speak and as free beings 
equal to the eyes of all men. They are in the as they are in, in the eyes of heavens. Until that day, an African continent will not know peace. We Africans will fight if we find it necessary. Yeah. And we know we shall win. As we are confident in the victory of good over evil. Those were the words by His Majesty Hela Selassie the First of Ethiopia. We give credit, we give credit to him. The vision that he saw, we are still swimming in the same nonsense now. We are still in the same racist states. People are being killed. Armless people are being killed. The people that are supposed to be protecting us where are we going to run to? Where are we going to run to if those that are supposed to protect us are the ones that are killing us even when we don't have guns? Yeah. Even when we don't? It's sickening. We stand here feeling the pain that those families that lost their loved ones aimlessly cruelly in America we stay we send with them here in, in Ireland and never think that this is not relevant to Ireland it is important that we start this we create this awareness we start to say no to racism before these things happen to us we must not let a situation where we say why didn't we take an action when we could? Yes. 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 We speak against racism. We speak against any act by the state that deprives any section of our society and yes. knock them away and forget them and forget about them like what is happening in centers some of you live in centers in direct provision that is another system which you need to know about it it's another system that if nothing is being done about it it's gonna turn to a disaster in this country we need to say no to deportations and end direct provision. Yeah. Yes. In yes. September, this island is co-hosting the UN Migration Summit somewhere in the in, in USA uh, on immigration and there are immigration problems here i wonder what they will say when they get there about what is happening here we are not afraid to say that take the numbers that are promised to take to be taken by by island is is is, is a very low people are dying in this in this Mediterranean seas in calais now in, in, in southern Sudan, we have seen what is happening there. Let's open our eyes. Let us not turn a blind eye on things that we think they don't affect us, which is what is happening here. I'm glad to see these numbers here tonight because it tells us that there are people out there that care. Yeah. The fact yeah. that you're here, it means you care. We need to be united. Yes. We need to fight. Yes. 
war with peace. I'm saying it again. We need to fight war with peace, not with guns. Not with guns. No guns. Peace. All over the world. We have seen countries winning independence and victory through peace with no blood shed. <laughs> no, I agree with you. I agree with you. All I'm saying, let us be together. Let us be united. Let us fight the fight that is in front of us. Let us not let the politicians or those that in power we think that they will do something for us. It is the ordinary people like you and me that can make a change in this world. What do we want? Justice! What do we want? Justice! What do we want? Justice! For all! With no justice, there's no peace. Until a black man is free, no world can be free. We need to be free. Yeah. We need to be free. Yeah. We need to be. Um, uh, um, we need to liberate ourselves. Yes. Yes. We need to take. Yes, educate ourselves. Equality. A lot of speakers have, have, have spoken pretty well. If you take one thing, one thing home, one thing of what has been said, you would have achieved something. Just one thing. As I stop, I will ask you to chant with me. Yeah. Yes. Yes. As I say, power you say to the people. Woo. Power to the people. Power to the people. Power to the people. What we want? Justice. When I say Amanda, you say Awetu. That you will know. Amanda. Thank you.